In this tutorial, Randy will show you how to have one boy run circles around another boy. Keep watching and Randy will show you how. This is Randy. And Patrick. With more Crate Studio 3 tips. What we are going to do is have this boy Isaac run in front of Dylan. Once Isaac passes Dylan on the right, he will turn counterclockwise and then run behind Dylan. Finally, Isaac will loop around Dylan one more time, then run off screen behind Dylan. I suppose Randy will provide tips to make your video run circles around the competition. See what I did there? Haha! <laughs> run circles around your competition. Yes, Patrick. Very clever. The first tip is to set the correct perspective for the characters. When Isaac is in front of Dylan, his feet should be lower than Dylan's feet, and when Isaac is behind, his feet should be above Dylan's. Also, when Isaac is behind Dylan, he is further away from the camera, so his scale should be reduced. Here I have Dylan eating an apple on the playground where there is enough space for Isaac to run around him. Isaac has the running action, and I have disabled both the starting and ending animation, so he is running the entire time. I will note that Isaac's scale is 150%. Add a position animation, and then drag the end keyframe so that it lasts longer than one second. Hold down the shift key and use the right arrow key to move Isaac to the right of Dylan. Here's a tip for turning Isaac around. Add another animation, but this time select position, scale, and character view. Make sure all three are selected. If you are not familiar with the character view, that is how to rotate the character in a different direction. Thanks, Patrick. I want the turning around to be about a half second, so I will drag the end keyframe to the left a bit. The first keyframe is at one second, eight frames. And the second keyframe is 14 frames ahead. Since there are 30 frames a second, the length of this animation is just short of one half second. Above Isaac's box, click on the word rotate and then turn him around 180 degrees. Make sure he is going counterclockwise. Click on rotate again to get out of rotate mode. Then reduce scale to 120% and reposition Isaac so his feet are above Dylan's feet. Add another position animation that lasts over a second. With the shift and left arrow key, move Isaac to the left of Dylan. Add another animation and select position, scale, and character view. Click on the last diamond and drag it left so the duration is about 15 frames. I see the first diamond is at 2 seconds 22 frames and the last diamond is at 4 frames after 3 seconds, for a duration of 12 frames. Close enough! Get on with it! Okay. Rotate Isaac so he is facing right. Increase scale to 150% and position his feet below Dylan's. Now repeat Randy's earlier instructions, blah, 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 so that Isaac again runs in front of Dylan, turns around and runs behind Dylan, going off screen to the left. Let's play that and see how it looks. That is horrible! It looks like Isaac is running in place each time he turns, and then, when he's supposed to run behind Dylan, he is actually in front of him. Let's fix those issues. When using an animation for running or walking, the easing needs to change from the default to linear. To do that, position your mouse between the keyframe diamonds until it turns into a pointing finger. Right mouse click, click on easing, then select linear. Do that for each of the animations. That will fix the issue where Isaac appears to be running in place. Next, we need to make Dylan appear in front of Isaac when Isaac runs to the left. To do that, we will need the Dylan track above the Isaac track. But wait! If you move the Dylan track above Isaac, then you have a problem when you do want Isaac in front of Dylan. That is correct, Patrick. Which brings me to the next tip. We need two tracks for Dylan. Select the Dylan track and duplicate it. Move one of the Dylan tracks above the Isaac track, leaving the other below Isaac. To get rid of the empty track, right mouse click and remove excess tracks. 
When Isaac is running in front of Dylan, we need to set the opacity of the top Dylan track to 0%. Then, when Isaac is running behind Dylan, we need to flip the opacity back to 100%. Geez, how are you going to do that? Well, to do that, move the playhead to a time when Isaac is to the right of Dylan. Select the top Dylan track, click on Add Animation, and select Opacity. Mouse click on the last keyframe and drag it all the way to the left. With the playhead on the first keyframe, open the Properties panel and change the opacity to 0%. Move the playhead right until Isaac is to the left of Dylan. Add another opacity animation, drag the last keyframe all the way to the left, click on that last keyframe so it turns blue, and change opacity from 100% to 0%. OK, let me see if I have this straight. When Isaac is running in front of Dylan, the top Dylan track needs to be invisible, so the opacity is set to 0%. Then, when Isaac is running behind Dylan, we need to make the top Dylan track visible, and we can do that by setting the opacity to 100%. That's right. Then, when Isaac is once again on the right of Dylan, switch the opacity again. Now, Randy, you're the one being clever. Let's play that and see how it looks. That is dope. Do kids still say that these days? Hey, everyone, have a good day and happy creating.